At age 12, about a year after her first menstrual period, Sarah Digby felt something was wrong. I remember very distinctly being in my seventh grade reading classroom and the bell rang and it was time to change classes. And I had my feet up on the desk in front of me and I couldn't feel my legs down to the bottoms of my feet. And it was so painful and it was this weird tingling sensation. Her symptoms only got worse from there on out. It seemed like every doctor I saw, I came in, I said, hey, I have debilitating periods. I'm missing school uh, once a month, every month. And they just told me, you know, it's normal. Women have pain. Although she didn't know it at the time, Sarah was suffering from endometriosis. It's a condition in which tissue, similar to the inner lining of the uterus, is deposited in other parts of a woman's body, like the ovaries, the bladder, and bowel. With every menstrual cycle, it builds up, breaks down, and bleeds, causing a chronic inflammatory reaction that can result in adhesions, severe pain, and in some cases, infertility. This is certainly wildly undiagnosed, I think, mainly because a lot of women are in pain, and they've taught, they've been taught as a little girl to think that pain is normal. So they are not really voicing their pain. So even when they are suffering, they're not talking about it. And then occasionally, physicians are also not really hearing their pain. Endometriosis affects an estimated one in 10 women during their reproductive years, but many suffer in silence. The gold standard of diagnosis has always been surgery and a biopsy of affected tissue. But doctors at NYU Langone Health and others are pioneering an alternative approach. This less invasive method involves a questionnaire screening and a pelvic MRI. Then, specialists in different fields cooperate to come up with a comprehensive diagnosis and treatment plan before surgery. We had a patient with bowel endometriosis, but, and because I was aware of it already prior to the procedure, I was able to discuss with my surgical partners, hey, the patient has this condition, and I need you to see her before her surgery so that we can discuss what is the proper treatment, rather than me finding out in the middle of the surgery, oh my gosh, the endometriosis has impacted the colon, and I'm not equipped to do colon surgery. While there's no known cure for endometriosis, there are various ways to treat it. In severe cases, surgery can remove the lesions. Hormone therapy can limit or stop the production of estrogen. Physical therapy and acupuncture can also help. It took Sarah 15 years and multiple doctors to receive a correct diagnosis. She credits a 2018 surgery with Dr. Huang for taking her into remission. She took me from extremely severe endometriosis to stage zero. So she, and she perfectly preserved all of my organs. With a personalized birth control setup, Sarah is now able to keep her endometriosis in check. To counter the lack of awareness surrounding the disease, she was inspired to create informational graphics or endographics, which she's translated and shared globally through social media and her website. My mission when I first created this and this very first infographic was I just wanted one person to see it. And if it helped one person get a diagnosis, I would be, that was, I would be happy. And I think it's had more reach than I could have imagined. As the disease gains recognition, Sarah hopes that her long, painful journey won't be the norm and that women can break their silence and lead a pain-free life.